Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Do you remember when uh, Donald Trump was the president of the United States of America? You remember when this guy said many, many times that he will uh, dissolve the Congress and he's going to um, institute martial law, he will never give up power and he will be a dictator because he's a tyrant. Do you remember that? Only for Trump and nobody else. Now, we have the little dictator, I would say, legal dictator, which is Emmanuel Macron. Why is legal? Because he is not doing anything illegal, but it seems like the French law allows him, the constitution allows him to do some hanky-panky situations. What did he do now? He plays politics, he's a politician, right? With the French nation. In what way? He decided to dissolve the French parliament. Why? Because he's losing and doesn't want to lose more. So he is losing and if it's going like this to the next elections, He's going to lose so much, there will be nothing about his renaissance garbage party and his BS... How should I put it nicely? I can't use that word, it's other than an F. Um, sissy boys that work with him, all right? Or weasels or infantile, whatever you want, however you want to call him. So Macron dissolves the French parliament to have snap elections. Not snapper, snap elections. You know why? Because Marine Le Pen, the boogie woman, not boogeyman, the boogie woman, uh, won in the European Parliament. So, how about democracy? Okay, she won in the uh, Parliament because why? Because people, the French citizens, voted for her. They want her over there. So, why don't you let the, how do you call it, the French nation let um, you know, um, the course of politics to run its, you know, uh, game. Let me show you here one, two, three, four, about five articles related to this. And I will leave the last one from Bloomberg that will explain exactly why this, this I will call him tyrant, legal tyrant, um, because, you know, we live in the free world, why he did that. Let me show you the first article. This is right here, Ukrainska Pravda. And you see his dome over there. That's Macron. Macron's dome right there. Cute guy. Short, but hey, cute and smart. He's smart and a weasel. Uh, in a nutshell, this is Macron. All right, but hey. Macron dissolves French parliament. French President Emmanuel Macron has announced that he is dissolving the National Assembly and calling, every, calling early parliamentary elections for June 30th and 7th of June. So, elections. Now, when usually when a country or you know, some, something like this occurs, when you have chaos in the country, when you have chaos in the country, uh, when things are bad, you say, okay, you know what, let's try it again, maybe we'll reshuffle the cards. Maybe something was wrong. Or, I don't know, maybe you, you do that because uh, you realize you lose and then you start playing politics. And that's exactly what this guy does. He realizes he loses, therefore, let's do it. And he plays with the French nation. So, let, and I have here a speech with the idiot, but I'm not going to play it. In the European Parliament elections, the pro-Macron list was defeated, taking half as many seats as the right-wing national rally, which is my friend Marine Le Pen, which, according to some experts, uh, and uh, one of those experts is my cousin, who is very, very much involved in French politics, uh, and he knows uh, much more than I know about French politics, uh, by far. Um, he speaks French, I don't, so he uh, is very active. He said that, actually, Marine Le Pen is not really what they say. She is, is the boogie woman, but for real, is like a, they play ball. One day, pretty soon, I will have again my cousin invited in this program, and he could explain all this with the other guy from Algeria and the communists and blah blah blah. blah. Anyway, exit polls in France predict that the national rally, the right-wing radical party that people like, that means 
the French people are radicalized. Why are they radicalized? Because it's the pendulum. Once you put, push the pendulum too much here, it's going to come this way. It's going to go, oh, uh, 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 uh. So what's going, going on here? That's the reaction. When these guys were crying, hey, Trump, 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 that's because of you. Because of you. That's why he was elected. You pushed it too much into the garbage side, so this guy had to take us out of the gutter. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Exit polls. All right. Radical party most often associated with its informal leader, Marine Le Pen, will become the outright leader, out straight, no, outright. Okay, I will say now. Uh, <laughs> outright leader with an expected 31.5%. So, uh, 30, at least 31.5% of the French nation, which is great, uh, is uh, radicalized. It's a right wing. That should have some people uh, tremble in their country, but I don't think so. They have too many. They're too deluded so far already. But anyway, this is more than double the share of centrist and liberal politicians from Macron supporting parties. The pro-presidential list retained second place but received only 15.2%. It said 22.4% in the last European elections. Well, almost half. In addition, another right-wing radical list, oh wow, Reconquest, Reconquet, I, I, I think that's the way you, Reconquet, is on the verge of breaking the 5% threshold, further indicating the rise of the far right. So you got 32, we got with 5, so you got almost little by little to 50 some, so you say bye bye, bye bye. Then we're gonna have something probably in the French constitution where you have the emergency something like idiot Macron, no Macron, uh, Trudeau, and he's gonna say, well, emergency power, uh, suspend the elections, like the Jewish guy in uh, Ukraine. You know who the guy is? Yeah, Zelensky Stein. And he says, I'm going, this result is not good for the parties that defend Europe. How do you defend Europe if, you have, you, if the guys that you claim to defend Europe are less than the guys who are attacking Europe? Almost, right? So he put his badge all right here and said, we are the countries, we decide, we're the countries who defend Europe. We are, and you're not. Says who? Uh, we say. Well, can we say the same thing? No, no, you can't say the same. No, 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 only we can identify whomever we feel like the way we want. That's the garbage that we live in as of America and in many European countries. So they're they are defending America. I don't think so. I think the will of the people defends um, I'm Europe. The will of the people should matter. What if, uh, let's say, the far right gets 80% of the, of the votes? 80%. What would you do then? The 20%. Are you going to put them in labor camps? Are you going to use a pss, pss, pss? What are you going to do with them? Anyway, Macron said, adding, adding that the far right is gathering popu gaining population across the continent. I wonder why. Well, this is uh, uh, these guys lack self-reflection, accountability, and they think it's not because you know that's a typical narcissistic behavior or trait. All right, and I, I'm quoting again Macron: "I cannot act as if nothing has happened." So he's your savior. He is. He identifies. Uh, we have uh, what's his name? Uh, the other guy. Uh, what the fuck is the with the guillotine guy? I can't remember his name right now with the French Revolution. Remember Robespierre again? He identified with two more as being the guys who are gonna be helping and cleaning the French, and he cleaned a lot of French. Remember self identification, and then Napoleon saved the French, and he did. I like Napoleon Bonaparte, so all right, Napoleon. <laughs> this is why after the consultations provided for the Article 12 of our Constitution, I have decided to give you the chance of our parliamentary future by voting once again. In a few minutes, I will sign a decree calling for parliamentary elections to be held on 30 of June. The first round and 7th of July, the second round. Bye-bye, uh, adieu, asseyez-vous, s'il vous plaît, and... Uh... Anyway, so this is the first article. Second one, Bloomberg. Macron gambles on snap French election in bid to stop Le Pen. You can't stop Le Pen unless you fudge things. Why? The people see. The people live lives that you up with your war in Ukraine and all that besides others. So, he says, after a crushing defeat in the European Parliament election on Sunday, President Emmanuel Macron 
plunged France into political uncertainty with a snap legislative ballot that restages his pre uh, right, perennial battle with far-right rival Marine Le Pen. You cannot be elected uh, uh, the third time anyway, unless you're going to change the constitution. I can see that happening. Unless your prime minister, uh, half Zelensky Stein, is going to take your place. He's young, handsome, likes it, likes to... <clears throat> but then, <clears throat> maybe with a foreign minister. Isn't the foreign minister the same uh, ex-boyfriend? Yeah, nothing wrong with that, don't get me wrong. But hey, don't you like to know the truth? If you don't like the truth, that means you are not honest. So. Let's go to the uh, next article. This comes from the Wall Street Journal. France Macron dissolves National Assembly after Le Pen victory in European vote. So that means run to the hills. Remember Iron Maiden song? Exactly. They're running to the hills. And here is my beauty. And I'm the beast. All right. Here she is. There she is. She is Marine Le Pen. They are afraid of her. Well, they better be. Because I heard her speak. And I heard her uh, speak with imbecile, uh, not imbecile, rude interviewers. You, you, you can ask questions, you can be, uh, how should I put it, uh, press, press on, don't le let the interviewee or guest off the hook, but you don't have to interrupt them, you don't have to be a bitch, you don't have to be like that. I mean, you can be, but we can also assess. And she did just fine. She's a really, really strong woman, if you want to call strong woman the one that doesn't go to every few months and you know because she can my body my choice and I'm I have about five kids with five men different men by the way three are in prison I'm a strong woman I raised them really <laughs> um, I think you would have been strong to do something else but anyway what exactly um, have a job go in uh, first uh, finish your school have a job keep your job then find a man then get married with a man and then have a child two or three with the same man and keep the man and together you're gonna have a happy family and you're gonna raise your kids in a healthy environment how about that now that's a strong woman for me you don't have to be a uh, in the kitchen or you don't have to be uh, but strong woman because you spread your legs uh, in front of uh, and then you you raise them and then you blame they were all bums who picked them you didn't realize that all five of them were bums anyway that's my strong woman how these guys are trying to switch shit Marine Le Pen is a strong woman, by the way. So watch some interviews with Marine Le Pen and, uh, and uh, see how really hits those other strong women. There are women who interview her and uh, she's good, she's good. So here he is, Macron dissolves France's National Assembly, calls snap elections. Is that a good thing for the French? I think it's a bad thing for the French. I think it's a bad thing for the French. And the French will look at this and say, wait a minute, why do you do this? Oh, just it. Just political, you don't care about us. I, that he's, oh no, I'm gonna defend you, I'm gonna defend Europe from Marine Le Pen. Did you see how beautiful she was? <laughs> Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.